Hey guys, Seb the Dev here. Today with a video that is a little bit different. Not only the new 1080p monitor which you are currently looking at and m should look much nicer is what makes this different. Today we're going to be comparing some of the more popular 2D game engines, Game Maker Studio, Game Maker Studio 2, and Click Steam Fusion 2.5. As well as that, we're going to be doing a Click Team Fusion 2.5 Steam Key giveaway. So make sure to watch to the end to receive info on how to join this giveaway. So, without any further delay, let's get into the comparison. First off, we're going to have a look at Game Maker Studio, the oldest of the three engines. Although this engine is old, it still holds its weight with all the competitors in today's market. Game Maker has been my personal choice for a long time because it is relatively easy to understand and can be very powerful. Many people assume Game Maker sounds like a software that is extremely simple with no real power to it. In my opinion, Game Maker is up there with Unity and Unreal for the power as it offers a good networking solution, shaders and more. Now into the review. Because Game Maker is an extremely old engine, it has an outdated menu system. The menus look old and uninviting, which can lead to some people not using this engine. After you learn what everything does, you really appreciate the simple interface the Game Maker Studio does provide. The Game Maker inter interface is probably my favourite out of the three here today. Game Maker also has a system where you can have different scripts of each event, such as three scripts in a script event in a step event which is much easier than some other ways for organization next we're going to look at ease of use game maker at first can look quite daunting as there are a lot of menus and no real built-in tutorials there is a drag and drop for beginners but it isn't really up to par with some of the others and you may as well just go straight into the code new. and finally the overall feel game maker studio although old feels the best to use it is mostly bug free and has a snappy feel it works in al almost any potato and won't let you down overall game maker is a great engine with loads of possibilities that you can use in almost any game dev situation and i will highly recommend it to anyone beginner or professional next we're going to look at the brand new game maker studio 2. this engine is the newest and the most powerful out of the three we're looking at today Game Maker 2 is on paper the best engine out of the three, but since it is still in beta, there are a lot of things that could be improved. The interface looks great when you first open it, and don't get me wrong, it is great, but something about the time it takes to open a window, such as an object or a script, just annoys me. Game Maker Studio is much snappier when opening windows, as they do not bother with any fancy animations. A great thing about the newer Game Maker is the sprite and tile editors. It is 1000% better than the original, and some artists may use the engine just for those features. One problem is that you cannot use a mixture of code and drag and drop in my experiences, which was something that was good in Game Maker Studio 1. Game Maker Studio 2 is also much easier to use for beginners than the original. The new drag and drop is much better, easier, and more powerful than Game Maker Studio's counterpart. With the drag and drop, you may be able to make a good game now. In conclusion, Game Maker Studio 2 is a great engine, but it has quite a few bugs and has not yet fulfilled its potential, but I think it soon will. At the time of recording, the new UWP mobile and web modules have just been released. I have not purchased any, but I am interested in the UBE because of UWP because of the Xbox capability, which would be interesting to try and make a game for that system. And last of all, we are looking at Click Team Fusion 2.5. In my biased opinion, the worst of the three, but that is just because I am used to Game Maker. There are many problems with this engine, as with all, but there are a few pros to it as well. The engine doesn't actually use much code, uh, as in typing code, at all, at least not in my experiences, which would be good for beginners, but some people would not be good. The UI of the engine seems quite clunky, but it has some things that would be good for beginners and make sense. It took me around 5 minutes to figure out how to create an object, which is double clicking on the room, that's what I found, and when you do, there are no empty objects such as in Game Maker, but the engine is also used for purposes outside of games such as media players, so it makes sense. Now for the ease of use of this engine. At first this engine may seem a bit clunky and strange, and the help when you press F1 kind of helps you lay your tracks, but the seemingly small community of people that create quality YouTube videos makes it hard to learn. Overall, Click Team Fusion 2.5 is an engine for people who do not have much programming experience and want to make games without having to use code, but if you want more to do more advanced things in my opinion, Game Maker is the best option. Now I'm going to give these three engines my final scores. Game Maker Studio is overall my current favourite engine out of the three, but that is just preference as I am used to it. It is one of the what I use daily and most mainly because of some of the huge bugs that ruin the experience in Game Maker Studio 2. 
In the end, I give Game Maker a 7 out of 10 for the user interface. It loses marks for its bare bones styles, which can be made easier for beginners, but I guess that's what Game Maker Studio 2 is for, and gains marks for the same thing, the bare bones experience, which makes it easier and faster to use. It is really great once you get to know the engine, and it makes coding much quicker. For the ease of use, I will give Game Maker a 6 out of 10. It is not easy at the start, but by pressing F1 or watching some tutorials on YouTube, there really are a lot of places that teach you to get to teach you to get you knowing what you're doing. For power, I will give Game Maker an 8 out of 10, as there is not much that you cannot do except for 3D, and it loses marks for its age, where it is not up to date with some features. Overall, this gives Game Maker Studio a 7 out of 10, which is not a bad mark for a around 5 year old engine. Next we are going to score Game Maker Studio 2. Game Maker Studio 2 is a new engine with a lot of potential, but it has some major flaws at the moment. I have been constantly getting errors saying I have not defined a variable when I clearly have, but hopefully these bugs will be fixed soon. For, you, for user interface, I give Game Maker Studio 2 an 8 out of 10, because it looks nice and it's easy to navigate, but some of the animations I find annoying and I prefer the simple approach of Game Maker Studio. For ease of use, I'll give Game Maker Studio 2 a 7 out of 10, as it has great documentation and uses the same language as Game Maker Studio, which is good for people who use the older engine. It doesn't really have any built-in tutorials that pop up and guide beginners around the menus of the engine, though, which could be better, but it is in beta, so hopefully they will add that. For power, I give the engine a solid 8 out of 10. The power of the engine is similar to the original Game Maker Studio, with some upgrades that make it worthwhile. It has a great new sprite and tile editor, which makes it powerful. Overall, this gives Game Maker Studio 2 engine a worthwhile 7.6666 recurring, which makes it a better buy as it is cheaper than Game Maker Studio. Finally, we will score get Click Team Fusion 2.5. This engine is clearly much better for beginners than Game Maker as it has a better non-coder system with its simple drag and drop format. For user interface, I give Click Team Fusion a 5 out of 10. It is quite strange having all of your applications you have made with the program shown at once in the sidebar when working on one of them, and it has some other strange aspects, but that is just my opinion. The room editor is really not great to use, but is similar to the Game Maker Studio room editor. For ease of use, I give Click Team Fusion 2.5 a 7 out of 10. It is good once you learn how to navigate the menus, but there are not very many built-in teaching of navigating them. It took me, as I said before, it took me a long time to figure out how to make an object. For power, I give Ga Click Team Fusion 2.5 a 7 out of 10. While the game side of things is not as powerful as that of Game Maker, it has a lot of other options for objects, and such as that such as HTML5 video player, which could be useful to some people making a multimedia player. Now to the giveaway. I am giving away a Steam key of Click Team Fusion 2.5. If you click on the link displayed in the screen right now, it will take you to this Gleam page where you can complete steps to earn entries into the giveaway. The winner of the, the giveaway will be announced on the 15th of February, so make sure to enter before that time to get a chance of winning. Thanks for watching, please leave a like if you want more of these type of videos and make sure to hit the subscribe button if you enjoyed. See you next time.